Hello and welcome back to yet another video from Matty YouTube and in today's video it's been such a long time since, since I've needed to do such a thing and that thing is use my notebook like a notebook like damn that must be a serious topic and yes as you can see by today's title I have actually used all of my brain cells <laughs> stoicism yeah, this, this philosophy is a crazy one. Uh, well, it's not really a crazy one, if I'm being completely honest. Well, not in the sense that it's a bad one. But in the sense that it is actually a decent one. And it's something that I've been waiting to talk about. And it's something that uh, kind of racks your brain if you go deeper and deeper. So I'm just touching on the basics of it. I might get a little bit deeper into it. And obviously, I'm going to link it to some of my other videos. And contrast it to some of my other videos. So again, be prepared for that. Um, and if you wanted to, you know, like, oh, what is he talking about? Like the ultra ego philosophy, the ultra instinct philosophy. I don't know about that. That is anime philosophy, first of all. Second of all, uh, it'll probably be somewhere. <laughs> it won't be here. I know that for a fact, but it will be recommended somewhere. But I've already told you a lot that I'm going to be using a notebook for the first time in a while. Uh, but I hope you enjoy this video and let's read again with it. Stoicism has four cardinal virtues wisdom, temperance, which is basically self restraint, justice, no, justice and justice and courage, which not just courage and like, oh, I'm going to fight a lion, but courage in daily things, things that you do daily, living in general, going through multiple things on your day to day basis. Uh, I mean, if you're in America, maybe getting stopped by the police or something like that. Just those daily adversities that we face and the courage to get through such things in life, really. Um, I, I mean, I, um, <clears throat> Stoicism is also about tolerance and self-control in situations. A Stoic is basically someone who remains calm under pressure. So someone who uh, may be going through something again like I gave the example of the police or being stopped by the police remaining calm in those types of situations really I mean a stoic is someone again who remains calm under pressure and avoid under pressure and avoids extreme emotional avoids extreme emotional situations um, that's actually the meaning of a stoic by definition in the dictionary now stoic stoicism is basically just around that sort of calm demeanor which again I can link to ultra instinct that sort of it's not really like um, actually yes it is it can be linked to the sort of um, Nevada part part like basically um, being calm in yourself not in yourself but just being calm in general and having that sort of clear mind uh voided from materialistic things which uh yeah, I mean, I don't really think you can link these two. Well, you can. Avoid it of materialistic things. Um, which will be something I'll pin to my next video. Which uh, is another philosophy and that's all I'm saying. This week is just going to be philosophy and that's the only hint I'm going to give to you. So it's the only other hint is the whole materialistic thing. And that's it. Um, for that's for the next video though, so that's later. Let's stick with this video. Though this whole calmness and the mean and this whole calm demeanor that's the definition of stoic but stoicism is more than just that sort of attitude or way of thinking um they believe things around us happen because of logos which is basically the domino effect in life one action leads to another then that sparks another that that, that triggers another and then it makes one thing happen and then the next thing happen again and again and again and stoics believe that obviously we can't control these situations and we, t we have to let it happen because you know things take place for a reason and we can't just well, yeah i can stop this but we can't control others either like we can't control a way a people a person is so we can't change a person but stoics believe that we can change ourselves stoicism is about self-improvement and which is why i said i mentioned other things before it's about wisdom justice self-restraint and courage it's basically a philosophy or an ideology in contrast to procrastination 
firming things and just getting it done, getting it over with, and just doing things when necessary, really. Um, improving yourself, again, self-improvement. Uh, yeah, just getting things done, like the courage to go through the things that you go through on a daily basis. Um, I did talk about like being alive, that, that even that takes courage. Uh, and yes, actually, surprisingly, even being alive, being alive takes courage and your very existence is a blessing and a miracle. You didn't crumble in the face of adversity. Stoicism, again, is about improving yourself, but it's not a self-centered philosophy. It also doesn't encourage pacifism, passivity, pa pa pass, pass? Pass, passivity, pass, passivity, or passivism, basically, um, or s slavery. I mean, both for obvious reasons. If I'm being honest, they also believe that you can't help others without helping yourself first. If, if that makes sense, if you're caught in a con conundrum or in a predicament, and you two, you're both caught in a pred uh, predicament, you can't jump to save somebody else's life before you save your own. If you don't know what to do in such situation, you help yourself get out of that situation, and then you help the other person because you now know what to do instead of you know accidentally killing the person. For example, yeah, I basically touched on most things. Um, it's basically the opposite of a self-defeating and depressive or depression sort of mindset and ideology. It's basically in contrast to Hyuka's philosophy and in contrast to Madara's wake up to reality sort of a quote, which means wake up to reality and you've seen that this world is a living hell really and um, that we should just accept our fates. Uh, that's that's like very summarized and like very brief I guess. I honestly did not say that very well if I'm being honest but what I really meant was that Madara yes in a sense is uh, using a sort of stoic mentality as he sees the problem of reality in this world and is doing something about it but his way of going about saving the world is you know putting everyone under a dreamlike state which is basically taking the easy way out of trying to achieve peace and changing others instead of fixing yourself which Madara should have really thought of a couple times <laughs> but um yeah that's really it of what Madara is really saying but it's basically in contrast to both philosophies and I'm gonna have to read this from my notebook in yeah, basically, to, to cap this off, to, so basically just don't have a self-defeating, self-deteriorating or self-defeating sort of attitude. Uh, and in the words of Epic Titus, yes, I'm going to have to read this off of my book because I didn't even remember that. And we suffer not from the events in our lives, but a judgment about them. That really caps things off, to be honest. Yes, we don't suffer from the things in our lives, but the way that we perceive them, we can make a bad situation good if we really put our minds to it and if we, you know, make it work out or or we can just keep a bad situation as it is and like, oh, mumbling moan grumbling groan about the predicament that we're in i'm just gonna leave you with that to be honest i hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh it's been very fast paced i actually enjoyed using my notes because if i did not use my notes i'd be uh so basically um stoicism is like uh this and uh, st st uh you know confidence in that uh, yeah I, I would have probably done that if i'm being honest if i did not use a notebook so i'm glad i thought of that because then i would be here for a very long time but i don't want to um you know keep you guys here for longer than you need to be uh i hope you've enjoyed this video i'll go deeper into it and i'll probably link it with an anime somehow and last week yeah it was last week i talked about um Thorfinn, no, yeah, yeah, Thorfinn basically. Um, Villain Saga season two, uh, and I will. Uh, I've been thinking, I might as well start. Uh, I might as well start with a sort of philosophy video of such anime. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. As usual, peace.